is the taro pantry moth trap and I've had really good results with these. Um, as you can see, it is full of moths. Um, when you get these, um, I had to damage it a little bit here to, to get this open for you because it has sticky stuff so it holds together very well. So it traps them in and, and you don't have to worry about touching it. But there's usually a, a film that lies across this that you need to peel off and then this little red square is the bait that attracts the moths to it. And then of course they get stuck. And uh, once it's full like this, you can uh, discard and do a new one. And I would probably do a new one up until the point where you don't have them anymore because I don't know how frequently um, these hatch, if it's like every 30 days or so, but these things are a nuisance. Uh, we got those they came in with bird seed, which is in our garage, and they had migrated into the house. Uh, we have a closet in our entryway, and they would make little cobwebs and cocoons on our clothing. Uh, so I would pull out jackets and they would be on there. So they, they kind of make a mess of things. So um, again, this is the, when you fold it all together, this is the tarot pantry moth trap and I picked up a raid version here this is the raid pantry moth trap and this is very similar except it uh, uh, has a different type of a trap in the middle but it still has the same sticky stuff around the outside I picked I had set this one up here uh, one day ago yesterday and it has not caught any yet so far so I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to get a new tarot pantry moth trap set up and I'm going to set it side by side with the raid one and we're going to see which one actually is better at trapping the moths.